What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of Grind360. If you want to see the main topic of this video, then go to this time right there. Which is my top 5 weight loss myths that I'm going to debunk for you guys. So I hope everyone's goals are staying on point and you guys are executing every single day to meet your weekly goals, your daily goals, whatever that may be. And let's dive right into the video. So guys, just to give you an idea of exactly what a cardio session should look like, right here. This is a successful cardio session soaking wet. This is what you should look like if you're going for 45 minutes on the Stairmaster like I am. So keep killing it. Dinosaur is best. T-Rex, obviously. You know what was clever about Land Before Time? What? The, the little Triceratops. Her name was Sarah. I never realized that they did that. Comment down below if you guys knew that the Triceratops on the Land Before Time was named Sarah because she's a Triceratops. Okay, but what was the pterodactyl's name? I don't know. Pretty sure it was Dimitri. No, it was, no, 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 it was Petrie. Oh, it was Petrie. What was the dumb one? Cog. Cog? <laughs> I don't think it was Cog. Littlefoot was the... Littlefoot was the protagonist, yes. Okay guys, it is Friday, June 12th. I just got done my morning cardio session on the Stairmaster. I burned about 510 calories or so. I personally like doing fasted cardio, so I didn't have any food in my stomach yet. It's the first thing I do when I wake up. So it is time for a Friday weigh-in. Let's see where we're at. Okay guys, we are at 189.8, as you can see right here. So we're gonna write that in our log right here. 189.8 pounds. This is where we are at right now. So we've made some decent progress. We've got a lot to do, but this is where I'm sitting right about today. This is what we're looking like, everything. And it's gonna happen when you are committed. So stay committed, stay consistent, and let's keep getting after it. Okay guys, let's dive right into the main topic of the video, which is gonna be the five biggest fat loss myths. Hi. Are you, are you recording right now? Well, I was. <laughs> There's a goose looking at me pretty mean because his babies are near me and I'm just chilling. Look, man, you're coming into my territory. I don't want no beef with you, but if I see your head go down and you start coming at me, I'm gonna be ready to scrap. I thought I would take this part of the video outside because it is a beautiful day here in Ocean City, Maryland. And I thought, what better time to dive into the topic of this video, which is my five top weight loss myths. So before I get started, I want you guys to know that I had this mindset for a long time. I believed all of these things were true at one point in time, and they are not, okay? So I'm gonna go over them to each their own. Everybody's gonna have different opinions on this, but let's cover my top five weight loss myths that are not true. So fat loss myth number one. Carbs are bad, okay? So let me address this first. Carbs are not bad for you. Carbs are your body's most valuable fuel source. So just like most other things, carbs aren't bad. Too many carbs are bad. Just like too many fats are bad. Just like too much food in general is bad, okay? Carbs are not bad. Remember what we talked about even from my first ever video, and that is getting in a calorie deficit. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna lose weight no matter if you're eating high carb, low carb, high fat, low fat, carnivore, paleo, it doesn't matter. You could even twist it to saying carbs get you lean if you eat carbs in a calorie deficit. When I was losing the majority of my weight, I ate the majority of my calories from carbs because number one, I enjoyed them, you have to eat what you enjoy, and I knew I was in a calorie deficit. So eat your carbs, especially if you like carbs. Don't restrict yourself of carbs because you think that they're bad, they are not. Weight loss myth number two. Cardio kills gains. So first of all, if you're trying to lose weight and not enter a bodybuilding competition like most of you I'm sure are not, then you need to stop worrying about trying to be optimal, okay? Cardio does not kill your gains that you made in the gym as long as your calorie deficit is not extremely like low. Like basically if you're not eating like 800 calories a day when your TDEE is like 2400, 
then you're not gonna lose your all of your gains from cardio, okay? So cardio isn't your enemy. Cardio is actually your best friend if you're trying to lose weight. It was my best friend when I was trying to lose weight. And granted, everybody's different. I know guys who've lost tons of weight without even doing cardio at all. But addressing the fact that cardio does not kill your gains, cardio is a valuable resource to put you even further under your calorie deficit so you can lose weight at a faster rate and condition that heart because everybody needs a healthy heart. So the bottom line, cardio is not your enemy. Cardio is your friend, be it high intense interval training, be it long intense steady state cardio, whatever cardio source you choose, playing basketball, going for a run, doing Stairmaster like I do every morning. Cardio is here to help, not hurt you. Weight loss myth number three, eating after 5 p.m. makes you fat. I've gotten so many questions asking whether it's okay to eat after a certain time of the day, or like, can I eat carbs after a certain time, or can I eat anything after like 5 or 6 p.m.? The answer to that is absolutely. Who's to say that you can't eat after a specific time? Remember, your calorie deficit is by the time your head hits the pillow at night. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that, is it does not matter the time of day that you eat. As long as you are eating that amount of food to keep you in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. I don't care if you intermittent fast and your eating window is from noon to 8 p.m. Just like I don't care if you eat a traditional diet, being breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, snack, whatever. As long as you are hitting your calorie goals and being in your deficit, it doesn't matter what time of day that you eat. It just matters that you do it consistently and that you are making sure to not overeat when you do eat. Weight loss myth number four, high reps for weight loss. I want everybody watching to understand that you do not need to lift high reps when you're losing weight because as you are losing weight, you're actually gonna wanna go lower to mid-range reps because while being in a calorie deficit for that long, you're gonna start losing your strength a little bit and in order to minimize that as much as possible, to minimize your muscle loss, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are keeping your strength at the top of the charts as much as you can in the gym. That does not require that you go and do 15 to 18 rep sets in the gym while you're cutting down, like five to 10 range, like maybe eight to 10 reps or something like that. This is because when losing weight, you're very subject to strength loss in the gym if you are not lifting properly. So if you're trying to get the burn effect and make sure that you're sweating in the gym while you're lifting, that's great. And if that works for you, then get after it. But you do not need to be lifting these crazy high reps just because you think that it's assisting your weight loss process or speeding up the process. If you wanna assist the process and speed up the process, that's what we have cardio for. And you are gonna to wanna to keep the weights heavy in the gym if you are lifting while losing weight. So you can retain that muscle as much as possible. Weight loss myth number five, I can only eat healthy. I think the term healthy eating goes around way too much nowadays and people do not understand what that exactly means. You do not need to eat all whole natural ingredients when you are losing weight. You just don't need to do it. Is it healthy? Absolutely. Should you work your way to that? Absolutely. But if you're going from eating a pizza and cheeseburgers every day to going to eating asparagus and salmon every day, you're not gonna be able to stick to that. So remember, it's the quantity more so versus the quality. So the quality of your food while you're losing weight really isn't all that important and you just gotta learn to make better portion choices. Because remember, I lost 80 plus pounds eating what I liked. I was eating pizza peanut butter and cheese sticks and sandwiches and chips. Like I was eating the things that I needed to have. I even had a lollipop every day. Okay, so I want you to get rid of the way of thinking, oh, I have to eat healthy. If you can't define it, then throw it out of your vocabulary. Instead of focusing on eating healthy, why not just focus on bringing back your portions of what you're already eating and it trying to include some whole and natural foods instead of saying, oh, I can only eat broccoli and chicken and all that bullshit. Eat what you like, try to include some healthy options, but try to cut back portions a little bit if you are trying to lose weight. Focus on the quantity instead of fixating yourself on the quality of food. So I hope you were able to kind of pick up what I'm putting down about some weight loss myths. These are five of many myths out there that I will cover in future videos, but I don't want you to get too confused. If you have some questions, put them down in the comments section. But just stop trying to be so optimal and stop overthinking it and just take the first step. Just get started. Get started on even just a, just daily cardio, a daily walk, a daily run, along with trying to incorporate an apple a day or something like that while focusing on being in that calorie deficit and eating what you enjoy because that's the only way you're going to be able to stick to it long enough to see results. But just to give you guys a little bit of an update, I actually have a gig tonight. so. 
I'm taking me, my guitar, my PA system, and I'm going to play at a local market called Bear Hole Farms. And I'm gonna try to get you guys some footage as best as I can. It's gonna be pretty chill, pretty nonchalant. <laughs> What's going on guys? We are at Acetique Surf Shop picking up some acai bowls. I'm here with Chloe and we are <laughs> enjoying our acai bowls and breakfast burrito right here. And this is the best breakfast burrito I've ever personally had in my entire life. If you ever come to Ocean City, Maryland, Acetique area, please do yourself a favor, go to Acetique Surf Shop and get the breakfast burrito. This acai bowl right here is called the Wedge and it is really good. It's got like peanut butter, coconut, sh yeah, everything that she was saying earlier <laughs> that I actually got on camera. Bananas and strawberries and blueberries and granola and coconut shreds and probably honey. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna stop talking to you now because I want to eat everything. So time to munch. I'll see you guys later. We'll get comfy. I'm gonna blow this up. <laughs> I'm gonna blow this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright guys, I want to end this video by showing you a little something that I've been working on with Chloe. I'm trying to teach her on the ukulele. I've been playing ukulele since I was like 12 years old, so I'm trying to teach her how to play I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. It's only four chords. Let's see how we do. Alright, I think we actually got it now after working with it for a second, <laughs> which is okay. That's just what it's all about. First try. I won't. Perfect. Two. <laughs> Skiddly diddly do. meeting your grind 360 goals and that you are continuing to grind and kill it through this entire process I hope you're starting to feel better you're starting to see the results in the mirror I hope everything's just going your way and until the next video let's keep getting better together and let's keep on grinding